that chap there. We're going to press Shift S to align the cursor to center. Shift A, we're going to create a plane. S, we're going to scale it. Something around 10 should do. Then we're going to go Tab into Edit Mode, Space, Subdivide, Number of Cuts, 10, Fractal, about 0.1. That should do us for the terrain. Tab to go back into Object Mode, Shift A, Create a Cone. We want the cone to be quite steep because when we subdivide it, it will get quite a bit wider. We also want to have fewer vertices, otherwise subdividing will create an incredibly high poly mesh, which you might want, but I don't think you probably will. You actually only want around 7 vertices, maybe around 11. I, th I think an odd number is probably better because it gives it a certain unevenness, strangely enough. For r radius 1, which is basically the bottom, we want it to be about 4 and a depth of 8. Radius Two, basically the circle at the top, we want that to be about 0.3. Tab, subdivide, number of cuts, about 5, fractal, 0.5. Random seed, just slide it across until you find one that you like the look of. Go down here, click on face edit, press A to deselect everything. Go here to the polygon at the top, press E and then S, and 0, and it will create a point in the middle. Press G and then Z. Move that down to create inside of the volcano. Next, press tab to go back into object mode. I've also gone into invisible mode by pressing Z. Just press Z again. So I'll just press G and then Z. Move this up. Not all the way. We want a little bit underneath because the bottom is a little bit wiggly. So we don't want gaps in the bottom. Click to place. And then I'm going to create a cube. I'm going to go into 5 to go into orthographic. Scale it on each of the axes, SX, GZ, SZ, SY, Z just so we can see through it. Go over to Physics, Fluid, Type, Domain, Shift A, Cube, GZ. Scale it to be very small. Make sure it's inside the dip we've created but not without any of its mass actually inside of the volcano's mesh. Fluid Type. Inflow, right click on the floor, fl obstacle, and the volcano, fluid, obstacle. Go on object because it's probably going to be difficult to find this cube. Actually, it isn't, it's just there. Right click on it, physics, z velocity to 1. I'm going to make the domain slightly bigger as well. Bake. You can see we've got a sort of lava pouring down the sides. Right, so that's that bait. Now I want to make it look something like. Go into rendered. Go to cycles render. World, use nodes, color, pure white, strength, 0.5. And just change a few materials. Call it rock. Make it a dark gray. Give it a bit of roughness just so it looks more rock like. Change the material of the ground to rock as well. For this we'll create a new material. The surface we want to be emission so that it can glow. Colour, a yellowy orangey colour. Go into rendered. See it's sort of pouring down the mountainside. The actual volcano itself isn't particularly visible. So we're going to have to create a shadow for it by adding a sun lamp. Press R. And then Y, point at about 45 degrees. See a bit of a shadow here. Go into World, make it a little bit darker. To about 0.3. Set the shading of the ground to smooth. And the shading of the lava to smooth. You can set the volcano to smooth as well, actually. Which looks quite nice. But flat also looks okay because it looks like the bits of rock jutting out. So it's more sort of a stylistic choice. For this one I'm going to leave it out as flat shading. Then obviously you just want to set up your camera, Control alt 0 Shift F to move the camera, W, A, C, and D to move around. Just render an image. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to tweak the strength of the lava up a bit. Put it on 5, you've still got a glow without it 
being too unlivery a colour. So as you can see obviously that didn't work perfectly, it's a bit noisy because I did a fast render and I made a little bit of a mistake so that all leaked out of the bottom. The fluid type for the ground wants to be not volume but shell or both if you if you want to use both. But apart from that, that's what you have to do. Obviously you can tweak it, you can get a better render, you can add texture and just make it more fancy but that's how to quickly make a volcanic in blender